Okay. So I have my artichokes here. Has anyone ever cooked with artichokes? Today, we're really gonna focus on the preparation, getting them ready, how we um, trim them, and how we're gonna cook them. So this is actually my first time really um, taking a whole raw artichoke and making them into a meal. So I usually like get the canned one or in the jar for like a spinach and artichoke dip, but today I'm gonna make my own. So what we're doing, I'll tell you a little bit about our ingredients. Um, we've got the artichoke, of course. We've got some lemon, chives, which I just got one of our Nature's Promise um, chive packs and I'm cutting them with my herb shears. Then we have our Taste of Inspirations soy sauce, some of our Nature's Promise mayonnaise for our dip. And then, so choosing an artichoke, that is, that's a great question. Does anyone have any thoughts about choosing an artichoke and what you might uh, be looking for? Um, as far as info, you need to add your points. Um, so when you register, um, on Eventbrite, it will ask you your card number, your first name, last name, email. So basically, as long as we get, you know, a good name, email, and then your card number, if you have it, that would be very helpful. Um, so what I'm going to do um, to start is I've kind of already prepped this one a little bit, but we have our whole artichoke. The first thing that we're going to do is take a serrated knife. Oops. Okay, we're gonna take a serrated knife and we're just gonna cut the top off, the third of the top. So let me hand my camera down so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're just going to cut off top right there. So I'm gonna put these on a craft pan over here. So someone said they should be fairly heavy and not seem too dried out, yes. So what I'm gonna do next is, so I cut off the top. Now, if you see these little kind of pointy looking um, tips, so artichoke are actually part of the thistle family. So if you can think about the thistle plants, you might know, you kind of have known for those pointy tips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim off those tips so that we don't have any of the pointy parts. So just finding where, you might need to make some trims. Okay. And some of these outermost will come off when you're cooking. So if you worry about missing some, I think after they're cooked, it'll definitely be a lot easier to see. Okay, so from what I can see, I've got most all of them. So you can see, Oh, here, I'll do this one too, I can show you. So in comparison to the one that's not cooked, we see those are very pointy, um, but this one is nice and flat edges. So next, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to trim our base. So we're gonna be steaming these in our pot of water that's on the stove. So we want them to really stand, stand up. So right now that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna cut off um, some of the base. So I've got it cut. I've seen um, options where if you want to peel the sides, you can do that as well. Um, but today I'm just gonna kind of cut them so that they can stand or sit in our pot. Oh, kind of got a little bit of the bottom there. <laughs> so now that we've done that, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take these and put them into our pot of steaming water. So I'm, I have two ready. So I'm going to put those in because it's going to take about 20 or 25 minutes, just depending, um, to really get them nice and soft like you want to eat. So let me just make sure I have these trimmed off. And while some of these are cooking, we can do some more. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know they were part of the thistle family either. You know, they're considered a vegetable, um, but if you think about kind of the characteristics of the different fruits and vegetables, they actually sometimes align with another, you know, 
I guess, more narrowed down family of fruits and vegetables. Okay, so I have got two of these ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put them in my boiling water. So I'm just gonna set them right here. And I put about two inches um, of water in the pan so that we can really get that steamed effect. So I put them in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lid on so that we can really put all the steam in there so that they're cooking throughout. And so while we've got those in there, let's see what time it is. It's 12.06, so we're gonna keep our keep track of our time here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut just a couple more so that y'all can really see. And um, if you have questions about specific parts, you can do that. Um, but once again, I took a serrated knife and I cut the top third off. Does anyone know what artichokes are rich in as far as nutrients or what health benefits they might have? One thing that I can really point out for this re recipe in particular, so we have our guiding star system, which tells you, lets you know, you know, one, two, or three, how good a certain, um, food or product recipe is, and this gets three guiding stars. So this um, artichokes in particular are really high in fiber. So if we know fiber is good for cholesterol, heart health, our gut health. So there's some good nutrients there and they actually have a good amount of protein. Okay, so what I'm doing after I cut off the top is I'm just taking some kitchen shears, like I showed you before, and cutting those tips off. There's also a lot of ways you can prepare artichokes. So sometimes people want to eat the very center, like the heart of the artichoke. So we would actually be removing everything um, and not the leaves, but we're gonna kind of use the leaves as like a dip, like a chip for our dip kind of thing. Okay. Um, let's see here. Someone said they are really good for your liver. Yes. So thinking about maybe like milk thistle or different types of thistle that would be good for the liver. I cut very little off the top. Well, okay. So, I mean, I'm sure you could probably cut less. This is my, like I said, my first time with them. So I just kind of measure what about a third is and cut that. Okay. So this is looking good. These are actually very pretty too. So I think the more you cut, you know, depending on if you want it to look, you know, aesthetically pleasing or pretty, um, that can kind of go in with like how you cut it. So looks good here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my base. Okay, so I cut my base off. I'm gonna put this one in our pan also. It's being boiling nicely. So we wanted to put a boil heat just so that's more of like a steam or a simmer. So. Right now I have it about a six, so I'm just gonna kind of put it down to that four. And in the meantime, we are gonna make our dip. So like I said, our dip consists of mayonnaise, um, soy sauce, lemon, and chives. All right. So I've got my bowl here. And I'll go in and measure out my ingredients. Oh, and another thing that you could do with this recipe, um, before you put them into the water, you can cut your lemon in half um, and kind of rub it over the tops of the leaves to really get like a lemony um, flavor into, kind of infused into your um, artichoke leaves. Okay, so I'm gonna cut our lemon in half. Cut our lemon. 
Now with our mayonnaise, we're gonna use half a cup of mayonnaise. If you wanted to get um, like a light mayonnaise or one that's made with olive oil, any kind of mayonnaise that you have at home. Okay, if I can get the top off. All right, so I've got our measuring cup here. The only way I ever eat artichokes is with melted garlic butter. So a dip will be new for me. I, I love anything with butter or garlic. Um, that sounds really good. Um, I also really love lemon. So I think this will be a really nice flavor profile. And we're also gonna have some of the soy sauce in there. Okay, so like I said, half a cup of our mayo. And if you wanted to maybe use like a Greek yogurt or something instead of the mayo, add more protein, you could do that. Okay, you were raised dipping it into mayo, just the artichoke straight into mayo. So it's, it is definitely a thing then. Okay, so got my mayo. I'm just gonna put it into my bowl. And then for our soy sauce, we are gonna use two teaspoons. So two teaspoons of our soy sauce. Let me get my measuring. Okay, and like I said, I just got our um, soy sauce reduced sodium taste of inspirations. It's one of our um, giant brands. We have our our giant, which is our OB store brand. We have our taste of inspirations, nature's promise. So I'm adding our soy sauce, so two teaspoons. Perfect. Okay, and we're going to, I'm gonna take some of the seeds out of our lemon so that we don't get our lemon seeds in there. All right, and we're gonna uh, squeeze in one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. So. These in. And so I think this is a great time, you know, to get the in season fruits and vegetables. So, you know, we're thinking about how we would pick a certain piece of produce, you know, based on its ripeness. And right now, um, artichokes are in season. So if we think about their chance of being ripe, this is probably your best, um, best bet or time to get some. So we're adding in the rest of our lemon juice. And so once we have our lemon juice in, we are gonna add in our chives. And so we're doing about two tablespoons of chives. And then we're also gonna add in um, just a tiny bit of water. So about two teaspoons um, when we mix our sauce. Okay. So our lemon juice is in. I'm gonna check on our artichokes, see how they're looking over here. A very noisy pan. Okay, so I can definitely tell they're getting steamed throughout. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just kind of chop more of our chives. So I've added our dip ingredients that we've called out so far. And now we're gonna add some chives. So it calls for about two tablespoons of finely um, chopped chives. So I'm just gonna use my kitchen uh, herb shears and just do kind of a guesstimate of two tablespoons. I feel like it's after a while, <laughs> you can kind of guess how much you're putting in. I think I started out making when I was cooking, like being very precise. And you know, that's definitely okay. But sometimes I find that I kind of get like really some of the best ratios when I'm just measuring it in my head. 
and add the stuff. So in place of the soy sauce, so is there any particular reason you wanna change that out? Um, you could definitely use like a liquid amino. You could use, let's see. I'm trying to think about the flavor profile. I don't know about a Worcestershire sauce, but hmm. I'm sure there's a lot of things you could probably use, but I would say probably like a liquid amino or a coconut amino. Okay, yeah, so gluten-free. So definitely there are some options that do meet that um, gluten-free. So what is it? tamari? Hmm, I have not had tamari. So definitely just reading the labels when you're in the store. I know that we do have some gluten-free options, whether that's a coconut amino or um, a soy sauce that's made gluten-free. Okay. So we're adding our chives in. I'm gonna add in just a tiny bit of salt and pepper also to our dip. Okay, so we've got our chives added in. Now I'm gonna get our salt and our pepper. So, a little bit there. Okay, and so like I said, I'm gonna stir in about two teaspoons of water. So we've got our water added, we've got our soy sauce, salt and pepper, chives, mayo, lemon juice. So I'm just gonna stir this up, make sure it's nice and combined. And see me there. And obviously I think I'm definitely gonna refrigerate this for a little bit. Um, my mayonnaise was new, so it wasn't in the refrigerator, and I think I would like this to be chilled. And when you chill some, chill a dip and give it some time to set, that flavor really will kick in. Okay. All right, so our sauce is good to go. So there we go. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna check on our artichokes and see how they're looking. Okay. So as far as the tamari, what kind of um, flavor does that have? Like in comparison to soy sauce? I'm gonna see if how soft they are. Okay, so they're definitely softening up, um, but we're gonna keep them cooking. So they've been cooking for about 14 minutes or so. So like I said, that um, 25 minutes is probably gonna be the best mark. So we'll put them in here. And that's simple enough. So once they're done, um, we'll pull them out, um, set them on a plate, get out our uh, chilled dip, and then we're gonna pull off the leaves and dip them into the dip. And simple as that. So you could, um, if you wanted to just place your artichoke there and have your guests or your family pull it off themselves and dip, they can, um, or you can kind of pre-pull them off. So and have them on a, a platter or a plate. Um, so, so the recipe in total is about 30 to 40 minutes um, itself, but the cooking of the artichokes is about 25 minutes. I think that it would work just fine if you roasted them. Um, made with soybeans. Okay, oh, gotcha. 
So tamari is made with soybeans and is slightly richer than soy sauce. That is, so do you purchase this at Giant? Something I'll have to, I'll have to look out for. We have so many options. Um, as far as the artichokes, I think that it's really up to you if you want to serve them um, warm or if you want to serve them um, kind of cool or room temperature. I would probably keep them warm and just have that chilled um, dip with them. But they'll be super easy to get the leaves off and to enjoy. And so this recipe, um, I think it's very, you know, good recipe for entertaining purposes. Or, you know, if you just wanted to have some artichokes with some dip and eat an in-season produce recipe. Um, I think for all of this, it was under $10. So, you know, and I got four artichokes. So just depending on the size of people. So this serves about four. So we're counting for an artichoke per person. Um, since, you know, we're not eating the whole thing. But it's... It's not necessarily, I don't feel like this was too labor intensive compared to some recipes that I've made or some produce that I've worked with. I think that it, it makes it easy because if you have the, you know, you cut it with the knife and then any recipe that I can use kitchen shears with to trim something or to cut herbs, I love because it makes it super easy. Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So as far as eating them, what you want to eat, what you're looking for and how we really kind of prepare it is obviously we trimmed them. We trimmed off the top, we trimmed off the pointy part and where you want to eat is really like the base. So kind of putting that in your mouth and scraping to get the base. But after they're trimmed, It'll pretty much be um, about the part that we want to eat. Yeah, separate, yeah, separate the thistle from the heart to be able to eat the heart. Yeah. So the heart is located in the very center in the middle. So a lot of recipes will call for like artichoke heart. So if you're looking for the heart, you're just gonna cut until you get to the center. And if you want to eat the leaves. <laughs> you can trim them and steam them, roast them. I'm sure there's many, many things you could do as far as like all the new technology with an Instapot or a air fryer. I think that this is very flexible recipe. So let's, let's see how they're doing over here. noticing is I think that as they cook they really open up so it makes it even easier to get the leaves off that you want so I'll show you one in just a couple minutes to kind of give it a little more time to cook but so that you can see what I'm talking about how it really opens up it's kind of I would say like if you had a blooming onion that's what the equivalent looks like over there right now without the fried part um, but it's just really opened up like a flower And so once again, really rich in fiber, um, we're going to be getting some protein, antioxidants, um, cholesterol benefits. So it's definitely a very nutrient rich um, snack that we're going for here. Okay, so I've set the rest aside and we're going we're gonna to pull it out. I'm going to give it just another second before I pull it out. Um, could you chop the center heart and add to the dip? I think you definitely could. I think that would be really good. I think the only thing you might have to, you know, start from the bottom to really get the heart out because that's kind of what's holding everything together. Um, but maybe you could try and think you could cook it first and then cut it, um, get the heart out and mix it into your dip. I think that would be good. But I think just as is right now, it might be a little difficult. 
Okay. So I'm going to get a plate um, and put one of our artichokes on there so we can really see how it the fun is eating the leaves until you get to the heart yes yeah yeah after it's cooked I think that would be a great a great option or if you wanted to make a you know another dip or something with the artichoke heart you could repurpose that um, and make something else too So I'm gonna take one out. Let's see, I'm gonna bring my plate over here. I think tongs would probably be the best thing to get these out. So let's get our tongs. So. Okay, we've got our tongs. They're buried under every other kitchen utensil. Okay, so I'm going to pan down so that you can kind of get a little feel of the before and the after. Okay, so this is what we started with. Obviously very closed, um, not soft or steamed. We have a stem and what we did, we cut off the stem, we cut the tips of the leaves and it's been cooking for about 20 minutes. So I still, I might want to put it back in there just a tad. Um, to really make sure it's cooked throughout. But you can see that it's really opened up and makes it easy to pull off the leaf. So that was very simple, very easy. So I think this is actually pretty, pretty ready. Um, soft and the base part is what we wanna be eating. So looks very pretty and a super good snack. I'm gonna grab our dip and put that out. May not be chilled to my liking yet, but I am going to try it. Okay. Oh, okay, this is good. This is a good one, definitely. I'm gonna chill this a little bit more so it can really kind of blend in the flavor, but this is really good. I just kind of used my teeth, got the base of it out. Um, very good um, texture and good flavor. So awesome. Um, thank y'all so much. I will be um, sending out the link to this video and I will also be sharing pictures and the recipe. So I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your afternoon and this wonderful weather that we're having. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me um, and have a fantastic day. Thank you so much.